Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to tell how to write a VHDL code for the decoder 2 by 4 in data flow and as well as behavioral model. Okay, in the last video, I have discussed about the decoder and the size of the decoder as to n by 2 power n and a different ICs are there 74 ls 139 and 74 ls 138. So it may be 74 ls 139 means a dual 224 decoder and 74 138 may be a 328 decoder. So first we will see what do you mean by a 224 decoder and its design consisting of an enable pin with two inputs and four outputs. So the truth table is also given in the previous video and its expressions are also shown and its uh, gate level design is also represented. Now coming to the VHDL code, see VHDL code in this particular subject digital IC design is very very important because every digital circuit you might have already studied in the switch theory and logic design. But this particular uh, subject digital integrated circuit design particularly focuses on the implementation using the VHDL code. Okay, so VHDL code in data flow model, in data flow model for the 224 decoder. Now library, library IEEE, you know very well. When we were when we are starting a VHDL code in the uh, uh, with, with in the VHDL code, first we should start with the two lines. One is library, another one is package. So package is use IEEE use IEEE dot std underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all, which is a common package used for all the types of codes and use IEEE dot std underscore logic underscore unsigned unsigned dot all that means the functions which are inside the package unsigned and which are inside the package 1164 all the package all the uh, functions we are calling here okay so entity entity decoder of size 224 is entity 224 decoder is you should not start the name of an entity with number so that's why decoder 224 port here we is the place where we need to discuss about the inputs and outputs so enable is an input which is a single bit so enable in std underscore logic and coming to the input i needs vector so std logic underscore vector of 1 down to 0 1 down to 0 and similarly y out std underscore logic underscore vector of 3 down to 0 because it is 4 bit output so 3 down to 0 and decoder 2 to 4 decoder underscore 2 to 4 encoder uh, entity entity name coming to architecture architecture data flow data flow of decoder 2 to 4 is begin we know many times i have been keep on saying that the architecture consists of completely the implementation of the behavior of the logic data or logic function so in this particular decoder 2 to 4 we have already uh, written boolean expressions for the outputs four outputs and those boolean expressions we are directly writing because it is a data flow model in data flow model we are writing the code directly on the boolean expressions okay what is the expression of y naught see it is enable i1 bar i naught bar and similarly y1 is enable i1 i naught bar 
and similarly the remaining so when you are writing a code on this i not what you have to write enable and gate not of i1 and gate not of i not simple okay so begin y of 0 it is an array so y of 0 will get enable and not i of 1 and not i of 0 y of 1 is equal to enable and not i of 1 and i of 0 and similarly y of 2 is equal to enable and i of 1 and not i of 0 and i y of 3 is equal to y of 3 is equal to means less than equal to in VHDL less than equal to says assignment operation enable and i of 1 and i of 0 and operation between and operation among three variables enable i, I of 1 i not end data flow okay so this is what the vhdl code in simple data flow model based on the boolean expressions okay just if you know the boolean expression directly you can write the code by just uh, changing the and gate uh, dot product into and operation and just complement into not operation now coming to the behavioral model So, in the behavioral model, we are writing the code on the true table, main function, conditional statements we use and such type of uh, process also we use. So, first we will see architecture and coming to the entity part, entity part is common for any style, whether it is a behavioral or data flow. Entity decoder 2 to 4 is port of is port of what enable in std underscore logic and you have see so you have to write library i triple e also library i triple e use i triple e dot std underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all if you want you can also add unsigned dot all okay why it is input i and y so input uh, directly you cannot write y here see because y is output okay let us split that i and y so i in std logic vector of 1 down to 0 y in std logic y is out not in y is out std logic underscore vector of size 3 down to 0 4 and decoder 2 to 4 ok coming to architecture behavioral of behavioral of decoder 2 to 4 is is begin begin now coming to the conditional statement we are using conditional statement if else if enable is equal to 1 then we are going into the operation so, in order to work with such a, um, conditional statements, we should write process. So, process, some instances, what are the instances we are having? Enable and I, which are changing with time. Those are instances. Begin, if enable is equal to 1, then case i is when 0 0 that implies y is equal to 
zero 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 one and when zero one zero one implies y is equal to zero zero one zero okay in the first case y not is activated in the second case y one is activated in the next case y two and then y three when one zero y is equal to zero one zero zero when others okay here the last case should be one one so others means whatever the condition left out of these four which is whichever is the left case that will work with others so others others you should be there without others you cannot end the case statement so others says that it is a last line of the when statement so so y is equal to y is equal to 1 0 else else means where if enable is equal to 1 this is the condition else y is equal to all zeros y is equal to zeros okay now end case case is opened so end case end if end process and then we have opened architecture and behavioral model architecture okay so this is what this is what the uh, behavioral model and as well as data flow model of the vhdl code for the 2 to 4 decoders okay in the next video i will discuss how to write the structural code of the same 2 to 4 decoder thank you